hello everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be testing a new ai video model which is designed to make video generation longer and faster we all know that generating longer video using ai models that takes more than 10 seconds is pretty challenging not to mention the necessary hardware for it and the obtained results will give you a bad video due to the loss of prompt adherence and the loss of consistency alongside with artifact like distortion this is why frame pack comes in it is built on Honey One model. It uses a constant length context compression to create a start and end of the video. Then it can go to the middle to create the consistent video. It also solves drifting by using directional sampling to keep it consistent and sharp. Frame pack system decides which frame are most important to give them more attention, which grants you a good and uh, stunning result. So if you head over to this website, you can see the name of the two authors behind this frame pack technology. And you can see here that frame pack can diffuse thousands of frames at full FPS 13 with 30 billion models using only 6 GB of laptop GPU memory. And here you can see the architecture behind this frame pack which will compile all the frames focusing on the start frame and the end frame. Then it can go to the middle to create the consistent video. And if you scroll down a little bit you can see here a part when it talks about the anti-drifting sampling. And here, for people that don't know what is drifting, it refers to the quality degradation as the video becomes longer. That's why it is very difficult to create a longer video using AI models. But here, with this model, we can obtain a longer video model in a short amount of time and also with low GPU memory. And here you have the example of those video. You can clearly see that based on this input image that we we can manage to create longer video with consistency and also good quality so today i will show you how you can install this using comfy y and i will try to guide you step by step using my custom workflow in order for you to do the same so let's dive into tutorial okay the installation step for this frame pack is very easy all you need to do is to go to this hugging face link and make sure to download this frame pack fp8 version it is weighted 16 gigabyte once it is done just use this second link provided by Elias CVL which allow you to install the necessary nodes in order to use that model all you need to do is to copy the code here go to your custom workflow document uh, document folder then type in here cmd once once you have this uh, window opened Make sure to type in git clone and paste the link here. Click enter and it will start installing everything. Once it is done, go to this frame pack wrapper. Do the same thing by tapping cmd and here we're gonna type in pip install dash r requirements dot txt. This way we're gonna install all the necessary requirements for these nodes. Once it is done, make sure to update your Comfy UI and restart it. And before open up your Comfy UI, when the, once your model is downloaded, go to Comfy UI root folder, search for model folder, then here you will search for unit. Make sure to enter and paste your model here. Once you have everything for frame pack models and nodes, you also need to install this MX uh, toolkits which will allow you to use my workflow more easily and this toolkit allows you to integrate a slider which are uh, very uh, useful tools for uh, this workflow all you need to do is copy the code go to your custom notes type in cmd type in git clone paste your link here click enter then all you have to do is start comfy ui and just make sure to drop and drag my workflow here once you open up your my workflow it will you will end up with this uh, interface where we have different uh, main groups starting with models load media text parameters samplers video save start and end images start and end prompt and also the upscaling uh, group and i will try to explain you uh, every group step by step here if you zoom in we have the models and vae all you need to do is select your frame pack that we downloaded earlier, select the base pre precision and the quantization uh, technique. This uh, attention mode is set to SDPA and if you have the flash attention or flash attention installed, you can select those one. For the VAE load, gonna use it, the Honey One video VAE provided by Kijai. 
since this model is built on the Honey One model's architecture. You will also need this uh, load clip vision in order to encode your images. For the text prompt uh, models, we have here our dual clip loader where we will using the Llama and the Clip L for Honey One video. And finally, here we have our load upscaling model. You can choose any model that you uh, you like. The second group is the load media. This uh, frame pack notes allows you to use the stored image as a, as a reference for creating your video using the text or you can also create a video based on start and end image. I set everything and try to automate the, the process for you, but we will see that later. For now, we will only start by using a start image and a text prompt, which brings us to the third group, which is the text parameter. I try to optimize the process using uh, the Florence 2 model, but I also added here, enter your, uh, the, this string, uh, this, uh, notes all you need to do is entering a simple text prompt and in the back we have uh, also the florence 2 model running which will try to describe the image then you will add here the prompt for your movement and or how you want to animate your video and this is connected to this clip text uh, positive prompt if you scroll down here you can see the mx toolkit that we installed earlier and we have different slider the first slider is for the quality, which we will be able to control the quality by increasing the, the number of steps. You can say, uh, as default, it is set to 20. You can try to decrease the steps if you want to test out your video. Or you, once you are satisfied with the results, you can try to increase it to high or medium quality. But for now, 20 steps seems uh, very good and give me uh, uh, good results. Uh, we have here another slider, which is the total second length of your video here you can try to customize the duration of the generated video uh, according to your needs and your pc configuration we also have the same thing for the upscaling factor i set the default parameter to 2 since uh, i have a low vram uh, video graphic card but you can try to increase it in order to upscale your video the other group here is the sampler where the main all the main information will be plugged here in this frame pack sampler as you can see, we have different parameters. The most, uh, the most important parameters are uh, connected uh, with this uh, slider. However, we have other parameters like uh, the T-cache reference value, the CFG scale, the CFG, the guidance scale, the shift, which will allow you to obtain more consistency for uh, dancing video or walking video. Here we have the seed, the control after generate, but also we have this parameters which is called GP, GPU memory preservation. As default, it is set to 5. This value will change according to your VRAM memory. Since I have a 6 GB of VRAM, the default value was 5. I strongly suggest you to put it to 4 in order to preserve your GPU memory. At the same time, you will uh, obtain some boost during the video generation. For the other parameters, we have the denoise, the start and bit strings. I did not try to play with those parameters since I already obtained a good result with this uh, configuration. Then here we have our VAE decode. Make sure to set this those value according to your VRAM memory again. Here are the default uh, value according to my PC configuration. And then the uh, video is going to be saved here using this video combine. I also set an upscaling uh, group. You can try to enable it once uh, once you are satisfied with the results. And here we have the post-processing section of this uh, frame pack. As you can see, we have a start image and end image group. Since we are working with the start image and the text prompt, I will try to focus on this part. All we need to know is that we're going to take this first image here and it's going to be uh, encoded using this clip vision encode. Once it is encoded, it's going to take into consideration the resolution of that image in order to create a video here. And all the information are going to be uh, implemented in this frame pack sampler using the start latent. The same goes for the end latent. And as you can see, I also have this fast group muter, which allows me to choose which uh, parameters or uh, main group that I want to disable. If you want to use only the text uh, to image uh, using this uh, first frame, just disable the end image, the start and end prompt, and make sure to disable the upscaling uh, nodes. But once you are satisfied with re your results, you can enable this upscaling part. 
okay the last group that we have here is the start and end prompt as you can see here it is only one node visible but i managed to combine two different florence model in order to describe the first image and the second image once it is done this uh, the, both prompt are gonna be combined into one prompt that will be uh, implemented here into this text prompt in code so if you wanna create a video using a uh, start and end image i strongly recommend you to enable this uh, two groups okay now that we see this workflow is composed of let me show you the results that i obtained using my pc configuration okay for the first example i used this image and i add a text a simple text prompt where it said girl breathing fire as you can see we managed to create this animation where the girl is uh, breathing fire for the second image, I use this uh, image of this red-haired lady and I add smiling face in the text uh, prompt section and it uh, managed to create this animation over here. I also managed to create this animation of this walking robot easily using only uh, two prompts which, uh, which are walking robots. The next animation is that volcano here with the river alongside and it, uh, the frame pack managed to create this small animation. However, in some cases, I noticed that we have some problem like with this animation over here when we have crossing legs. The other animation is that uh, skull playing the mu some music violin and it was perfectly created. I managed to create this animation of a ship on uh, the ocean. Not to mention that I also created uh, this uh, dancing animation using this uh, the, the previous picture of this robot on the desert. And the movement looks very consistent as you can see so as uh, as we saw this frame pack allows us to create good facial ex expressions but also movement like dancing and or walk it also can create uh, good animation using uh, landscape uh, image i also tried this uh, start and end prompt and the best way to do it is enable all the, the groups that are provided in the workflow then all you have to do is select your images then click to prompt the obtained results looks uh, very good where you can see that this hand is very consistent and then the animation perfectly jumped to the second uh, image where we have this uh, hands holding the cigarettes okay so that's it for today's tutorial thank you for watching my tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me uh, subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to watch my other video tutorial thank you